Back out on the river again today, y'all. Getting ready to do some scuba diving. I have Ron with me. You ready to find something? Let's go get it, man. <laughs> it's gonna be good. So we're getting ready to get in the water now. Have my flashlights with me. Here we go, boy. Oh. 
So I just got out the water, y'all. Man, what an awesome dive. It started out pretty slow. I was using the detector down there and just wasn't really getting a whole lot. And then I kind of lost my bearings. But then I slowed down and started to really look and I found some awesome bottles. Take a look at this stuff. Ron's still down there. You can barely see him on the corner there. Here's my stuff right here. My camera died, but I got my phone now. So I have my pouch right here too. It's hooked on with some other finds in there. I don't know if y'all know, but those bottles I found are pretty, pretty hard to find. They're kind of rare. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that, y'all. That is a beautiful South Carolina dispensary bottle. Oh my goodness. It's in amazing shape. Not even chipped. That is awesome. And check this out. That was the first one I found. Also have this one right here. Wow. South Carolina dispensary. Pour the water out carefully. <laughs> Don't want to lose it. And these were kind of near each other. One was laying right on top, that one. And then this one, I went over the area already and I was going back over and it just got exposed either from fanning or maybe my fins kicking it up, but it was laying right on top, just covered up with sand originally. Beautiful bottle. So two South Carolina dispensary bottles. Unbelievable. Everything in there is from that, that's from, a, that right was a big turpentine operation. And that current's pushing you. It's strong down there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's moving a little bit. I saw a ginormous catfish. I saw a pretty good size. Water's clear today, I'll say that. It's nice. You got the alligator scoop. All right, let's see what you got. Two good things. That's what that is, an alligator scoop? Yeah, that's a scoop. Alligator. So it's part of the, the shell kind of? Yeah, the, the backbone, you know, where you see that rib part mm. sticking up. Man, that's a nice, uh, like, spear point. That's too big for arrowhead. I'm surprised we didn't find more of these down there. Look at these. What is that? That's off the boiler plates. The big old boiler plates they would have had on the when, when they were doing turpentine. Oh. They would have had a problem with it. They had to take a chisel and cut the plate off. And I found those before in places. Couple shotgun shells detecting, yeah. It was tough detecting down there. I know. Something I find in these rivers all the time. 50 cal. 50 cal. According to our research, there was a site on land, old one, but... I mean, there was no shortage of targets. I don't think it's ever been detected. Cause oh, no. Some just... of that lid, you know, it's been down there a while. Some, some of the stuff it. was on top of the bedrock. Hard pan I yeah. was eyeballing. That's a good bit of targets for an hour down there. So check this out. And I got this one. I got, got two. I got two, two yeah. Whoa, dude. They're, they're about three feet apart. Dude. We need to, and I found a couple broken ones with the tops. I didn't see a piece of a broken <laughs> one. <laughs> so that's a, a monogrammed South Carolina dispensary. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's very rare for me to find more than you. <laughs> did, you get, did you get anything with the tip? I thought it was a... Flat button is a wheat penny. About to go under. Second sight. We'll see what we can find. Oh. Oh, what? 
So we're up from the second dive, y'all. Let's take a look at all the finds. Ron definitely beat me this time. On detecting anyway yeah, for this site. So second dive at second site too, not the same site. He got this lovely 1894 Barber Quarter. That's a silver quarter. You can see where it's tarnished from the water. That's amazing. And check out this old button, flat button, 1700s. Part of the shank on the back there. Well, has a cool design on it. And then some type of cufflink here. We're not sure how old. It could be really old or it might be a little later, but it has a horse on it. That's cool. Good stuff. And then a bunch of other brass. And look, you got some modern quarters, a nickel. Yeah, nickels are hard to find. A swimming hole. A key. High bullet cases. Shells. Lead. Cleaning up the river. That's a nice piece of pottery, too. Yeah, I only picked it up because of the lip on it. It's a rim piece. Native American. Man, that quarter is my favorite. I love coins. I do too. I mean, when you can get something like that. That's a definition too. I like when they come out the water. I mean, it's just awesome. Somebody was swimming out here and lost that, didn't they? And I got a few things over here. This green bottle, not very old. This one's about turn of the century, so early 1900s. I did get a decent looking Coca Cola, even though it is a patent office, so later 1958 or something on that one i believe another little jar and then this would have been amazing if it was complete a top to a mallet bottle 1700s man so people were out here back in the day i guess that's a marble it's big i don't know well, <laughs> it was shining on my light <laughs> blowing back at me and then i did find a piece of a clay pipe broken almost a part of the bowl right right before it so and a light, a flashlight, so somebody lost that, either diving or on land. I think it's a, a land light, not, not, ooh, water came out, not for diving. And I got a modern quarter. Going back under, y'all, for the third dive of the day. All geared up. Regs are on. Have my finds bag. Got my lights. Also have a helmet light right there that I sometimes use. Let's get on under and see what we can find, y'all. Back up from the third dive of the day. My camera died on me again down there, y'all, so I couldn't film everything, but I have some really exciting finds that y'all didn't see that I'm gonna reveal right now. There's a cell phone. <laughs> river treasure, y'all. <laughs> Modern river treasure. Hey, maybe it has a $100 bill in the case. Never know. And then I found a mask. So somebody was out there swimming. And then there's my light. But I got something really cool I can't, Oh, here's an Xbox controller. <laughs> I got a gun. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. Was it like a, what was it? Had a rubber band on it? It's a cross, cross uh, bow. 
That's cool. And you got a lot of stuff over there. I got a, a axe thing. <laughs> That's Cadillac. crazy. Yeah. Wow. It's laying on top. So somebody lost that old cell phone there. Might have been a Nokia. Oh, look at this fossil thing. Like a swirly Man, shell yeah. thing. Bullets, a few coins, pipe stems. I really like that fossil though. That's cool. It's like an ammonite or something. A little swirly shell creature. What a great day of scuba diving, don't you think so, Ron? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> we never find enough though. Yeah, we had to work for everything we found. It might look easy in the video, but we we put in some miles underwater. <laughs> a lot of fanning and digging. So that wraps it up for an epic day of scuba diving. I got two South Carolina dispensary bottles. How crazy is that? Take a look at them one more time. That's the monogrammed. And this is the one with the palmetto tree. Unbelievable. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, y'all have a good one. And God bless.